Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Morocco. Ooh. So, guys, as you know, we have an invader. We have the filthy infidels coming to our land to try to steal our money and our wealth and our power, probably our women too, and we will not stand for it. We, as the Moroccoans, have fought many battles in our life, but none as important as this one. We will not let Castile do whatever they want to us, and we will not let them do and destroy us. We will triumph over the Western powers. And more and more arousing speech and words of... Yeah. Anyways, we're going to continue. Basically, what's happening is I'm going to go attack the weaker army over here of Portugal. It, it, that's that's yeah. Let's just let's just go pound this one. This one's gonna be much easier. And besides, they're kind of cornered right now because I can kind of get them. Yes, please carpet seize me. Please carpet seize me. Good. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm gonna get you now, Castillo. There's no way you can escape. Okay. Now we're gonna. Oh my goodness, where did Castillo get ten men? Where the heck did Castillo get ten men? Okay, retreat. See, the problem- Oh, the more oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, we control the seas right now. Good job! Good job, my fellow- No, 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 I need you guys to kind of stay there. Okay, you guys are being jerks. Okay, um... Yeah. We're gonna have to give it a second, but yeah, it seems like our allies of- Of the Ottomans are basically helping us with the seas. I wish they would come over here and go destroy this army right here. I can't really do much about it. It's pretty much bigger than my entire army combined. Okay. Um, in terms of what I can do in this war, what I can basically do is just play smart. I can't... If I lose this, people, I'm sorry, but there is not much you can really do against a more advanced soldier. Yes! Okay. Knowledge is power. Whatever. Okay. Which one finished? This one? Get that coin up, and let's go get these soldiers up here. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, if I lose this, I don't, there is not much shame in this, because there's really nothing I can do about it. I'm basically playing on borrowed, uh, on borrowed, uh, stuff anyways. I mean, think about it. I'm basically just fighting this because, there we go, build all those soldiers. Okay, Castile is being really, really carpet CG. Like, they are really wanting to be carpet CG. Okay, let's just go right here and make sure they don't do anything stupid, because this is my land. Okay, and, uh... I almost think I should block this up, because I already know that Portugal has range over here. Yeah, they do have range over here, and they're gonna start getting cores on me, aren't they? Yeah, oh yeah! Oh yeah, the Ottomans are already starting to invade the land, and this turns... This is looking like a big battle. Could I possibly turn the tide of this? Um... You know, it's worth a shot. It's at least gonna give them a chance. Oh, well, I, I was gonna say it's at least gonna give them a chance, but they don't even give themselves a chance to try to fight them off. Okay, but anyway, anywho, we're gonna go try to pick off some smaller armies to try to uh, gain something. Okay, there we go. I mean, even if Portugal has the most, <laughs> even if they have the biggest army in the entire game, I just spawned like six troops right next to them. So there's no way they're going to be able to, s to spawn camp me. Um, we're going to gain a couple more. We're going to build up a big gigantic army and hopefully what I'm hoping is going to happen is that we can make them make some type of mistake. So as long as we control most of the battles, we'll win this pretty easily. But that's the main thing is that we have to control the battles. Um, the, they would win if we don't control the battles. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for my... Could we get these guys? We're gonna have to hope that, that siege does not break. We're gonna try to get these guys. Okay, they're, they're backing up. No, we can't get them. Okay. Get back up into into a little bit more land. And we're just gonna kind of hide here in our own little mountains. Um, in terms of what we should build, more units. <laughs> I mean, literally, this, that's the best I can give you guys. Just build more units. Um, cavalry should be the main point of our units, though, as I keep saying. Our general, we only have one general, a new settlement. Gain one tax, of course we're gonna gain one tax. That tax is gonna, okay. So now he's, I'm hopefully, I'm gonna, basically we're waiting for what the 16 stack does. Once we figure out what the 16 stack does, then we can figure out what we wanna do. 
Okay. We can probably deal with that 21 stack right there. Okay. That would probably... That 7 stack, I mean. Sorry, people. Um, the 7 stack right there will probably not be much difficulty. And let's finish off this world building and get this, uh... Permanent causes Belli against Pagans, which we probably already will have because we have a good a good colony right there. So we should start actually getting call you know, uh good causes bellies against these people, which will actually be really good because I want to go conquer them later. But first we have to do the managementization of just trying to survive. Okay, it seems like the Ottomans have complete control over over here. I'm gonna go send my forces to go help them out so that we can make sure that they do not send anything after me. Because if we could do that, we could basically probably start these troops out eventually. Because, I mean, eventually, I'll just have a bigger army than they will. Because I will keep trying to figure out. So there's five regiments, two, one. And they have one They have one leader, Philippe the First. Okay, Ledger, this is a little trick that you guys should do sometimes. Is that if you're really in a tough battle, you should really figure out the country. Luxembourg, Yemen, no, 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 I need to go with Portugal, 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 Portugal. This is going to take a little bit. Portugal, where are we at? Cochin. This is really going to take a while. Oh, uh, Manchu. Wow, Manchu have some good leaders. Okay, so Portugal, Portugal. Oh, wait. M N N O P. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, okay, so let's see. This guy is a 3310. Gosh dang, this guy's good. So, he's really good in the fire and shock phase. He stinks in the maneuver phase, and he's really bad at sieging. That's good for us. Um, his the other guy that's here is Alicto and Prix the Fort de Bonnage. Bonnage. I'm not even. Nah, I probably butchered that right there. But he's the Castilian guy, which I'm probably gonna go back up to. Castile, 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 Castile. Uh, I. It, if you guys are wondering why this is important to know, it's just so I know what I'm kind of dealing with, so I can kind of prepare. So. I think this is him? Yeah, Ekoto de Boot. No, it's right here. 5 1. Oh my goodness. How'd they get so good guys? Okay. I'm gonna play this smart. We're gonna try. If we can't destroy these guys, there is basically no hope of us entirely. I'm not even. This is not me being like negative or anything, but. Let's just. Actually, let's just try to build just a couple more army men. Just to try to turn the tide just a little bit more in our favor. Okay. Because... Oh! Whoops! Okay, yes, we got feet, heathens, heathens remark. Okay, so they're all frightened of us. So that means if we did attack them with our 24 stack, they would probably lose. Which is something we needed to know so that we could fight them. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's get our troops all together. As long as we keep them separate, as long as we keep those two death stacks separated, we should be able to win this. Okay. 26 versus 8. If I lose this, I will be the most shocked person. Oh my goodness, Ottoman, you guys are aggressive. Jeez, you guys are even landing troops. Dang. Okay, uh, let's try this. Nope. You guys are completely quicker than me. Well, I can keep I can keep up with you guys. Okay, so here it comes. They have better morale than me. They have better maneuver than me. They're about the same amount of maneuvers, so our morale is basically going to be bad. Okay, we have a couple more troops that we can throw into this battle if it gets me grindy. Um, we just need to win. That's all we need to do. Just go. Go, troops. Go. Okay, we do not. If we lose this... Oh my goodness. Did he just, like, crush my entire... Everyone go this way, and then go that way. I just can't get over that shock. I have 18 men and yet I'm st I won. Good thing. And Sunni Zealots! Yeah! Oh, I hate them. I'm not gonna crush that. Okay. Um Men of the Hour, go right here. Um, we're gonna try to kind of meet up and try to destroy the last little bit of this army. A population of warm pain or lose I can lose a few guys. Everyone pile in. Everyone pile in. Okay, there we go. There we go. I did not destroy his army, but I kept it on the run. He's probably moving to here next. We're going to corner him. We're going to destroy the last little bit. Uh, we can't lose any more stuff. So, Oh my goodness, Ottomans, I love you. <laughs> okay, let's go destroy this army then. While the Ottomans clean up that army, we're going to go destroy this army over here that's really being cocky. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, you, you can... I don't care how much you you try to be good, you cannot defend against that many soldiers. Okay, it is almost impossible to defend against that many soldiers. 2,000 versus that many soldiers, that's almost like an African battle right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, okay. We got control of the seas right now, temporarily at least. Temporarily, we have control of the seas. We have a decent army. Not the well, the most well-balanced army I've ever seen. Okay, but they're obviously going to go attack somewhere. So we're going to combine with the Ottoman troops. If they're going after the rebels, we want to quickly go help the rebels. Hopefully. If not, then we're just going to at least go and... Uh, we can lose some of that. We can at least, at the very least, go help the rebels, like... Um... Break off some of the Castilian forces. Like, this is... At the very least, this is just going to give the, uh... Castile's a major disadvantage, so let's do that. Yes! Okay, and as you can see, now Castile is really... Now they're hurting. Now the army is hurting. More uprisings and Wild Jay... Or Waja, whatever you want to call it. Um, not getting my full base... Actually, I'm still getting my full base tax right now, my most basic taxing. That's pretty good. But, uh, for the sake of purposes, we are... Destroying the Castilian army. There we go. Yes. Okay. And now that army will still be right there. And now we can just siege back all of this. This guy's terrible at siege, though. That's the only thing. But yes. Okay. We've completely and utterly like blocked them over. I think they can't get through because of. Oh. Well, let's see. Are our ships any good? Let's see. I'm kind of wondering this. I've been wondering this for a while. Are our ships good enough to fight against? No leader commanders. That's a good idea, James. Eleven of them. Yeah, let's. It's not gonna work. I should probably get an animal somewhere. Someone in charge. Let's see. Do I even have enough room for an animal? No, I do not. Wish I could kick this guy out because he stinks, but I can't. So, anyways, we're now just going to just sit here and seize down this entire holdings. Um, with our control over that, we should be basically like, you know. Teaching the superiority of the, uh, you know, we're, we're basically teaching them a lesson that we're not exactly easy people to, uh, you know, conquer. And, yeah, I think, I think the message is coming quite clear to them. Because with the Ottomans' help over here, with that 17, with that 17, okay, right there, and their arm, and their navy just, just deploying, and they're just destroying everything they try to build over here, which is so nice. Let's see, how much more Navy army do we have? Pretty good, but I do believe we should probably be making a better Navy. But, I don't know. Navy, Navy is what we're good at. That's definitely one of the things we should be good at. We should probably be raising taxes. Uh, raise wartime taxes is something I forget all the time. Let's just, and let's start building a little bit more defensive structures. Alright. We're going to reconquer the only land that they have. Hopefully that Sunni revolt will manifest itself into giving us something good. If not, then we'll just use it against them so that they do not, you know, ah, use it against us. Because honestly, eight, we basically, if you think about it, we have eight soldiers over there, we have 17 soldiers over here, and 29 soldiers over here. They're going to have to send at least a 17 stack to try to beat us, which is... A good, which is good for us. Let's just leave it at that. It's good for us. Okay, let's go right here to Sierra Leone. Let's, let's colonize here just so that I don't get too paranoid to make sure that the uh, people don't colonize. And can we colonize here, or is this out of our range? No, we didn't discover it yet. Ah, that's what happened. Okay, so let's finish off the uh, soldiers down here. The only place that they ever conquered. Was right there. Now we're getting one percent of the battles because we're winning most of the battles now. I'm pretty sure. Religious disorder. We have an advisor slot in my admin tech. I don't really need too much good admin tech. Just a little bit. Reduction of inflation. Dang, I'm getting so much money from this. <laughs> Thank you, wartime taxes. Okay, so we got more. Um, we have more chances to build up. Yeah, let's use as much opportunity as we can to try to, like, catch up in some areas of our buildings. Like, gain at least two level, two walls so that we can... That way le rebels don't instantly conquer it. That's one thing we do need, is to make sure rebels don't instantly conquer stuff. Okay. 
Alright. We're about to regain this. At some point, we're going to regain this, I should say. And at that point, the Council of Bristol... I don't remember what that gives the British. Does that mean they turn into a Protestant? No. But it seems like the Protestants are mostly taking place in the usual places, like... Um... Uh, Bohemia, Bavaria, and Brandenburg, these are like the usual places that usually become Protestant. Don't exactly know why, but, well, I do know why, but it kind of makes it really annoying when you're those, when you're one of those countries, or if you're the Holy Roman Emperor and you try to, like, control those countries. It makes it so dang annoying. Okay, so armories, we can also build some armories while we're here. Yeah, just keep building. That's what all we have to do is just keep building. I mean, I don't... We have enough soldiers here. We have enough soldiers to keep to keep them occupied. So we don't have to do that. We got enough soldiers down there in Sierra Leone. Okay, they just we just got a siege done. That was a siege we just got. That means now we're winning 4% um war score. They both now they both don't want to be in this war. So demands I could make I could demand tangents, but I really don't think I'll get it. Personally, the only thing I want is money. And I want to make sure they know that they were defeated. That's also what I kind of want. Okay, seems like they don't want that. Let's see, they would get me white piece. Uh, holds Toledo. Steel holds Toledo. They hold something, really? That's not mine. I'm pretty sure that's not mine. Yeah, we own that. Do I just want to like piece them? Uh, kind of, because I don't really have any reason to... Yeah, you know what, white piece would be the best, because I don't really have any reason to really stick in this war, so... Yeah, white piece! Yes! Okay, so, another successful defending of our, of our rights as being, as being the, as being the African power that somehow can still stick it to the Europeans. This is a this is one of those things. This is one of those moments I really do feel happy about. Is when you can actually like defeat other countries because of their own ineptitude or the computer's own ineptitude. That's when I feel really happy in this game. Is that moment right there? <laughs> All right. But as we go on, we have to start doing some stuff. Okay. Now you start patrolling again. So I'm gonna have you go right here. Okay. Go right here, and then you're gonna go up to all the way up here. There we go, and then back. There we go. So that should be getting all of our income up. So inefficient taxing stuff should be a thing of the past. So that means we should be gaining a lot of money. Yeah, 7.5. We reduce inflation. That will be gaining even more money. 7.2. All right. And the next thing I think we will do is start uh, taking down some of these natives. Well, not natives, these are uh, heathens, and start righteously converting them to our, to our, uh, powers. Because now since we have this, I might as well use it. Okay, Walter, uh, okay, so let's see, Shamanist, Ashanti, just get declared declaration. You have no allies, wow. Okay, Sh diplomatic insult, show superior. Calling allies, Ottomans, no. Okay, that's fine. Ottomans, you don't need to be in this, seriously. I can just fight them by myself. See? Alright. So then that's this war. Yeah, we can probably get through like six wars in the next like two minutes. I'm not even kidding you. So let's finish off this war, you guys. Um, do I want to conquer them or do I want to just vassalize them? You know, I'm about to lose my other vassals. So maybe I should gain these guys as my first vassal. Plus I want all their money. So, yeah, you guys are my first vassal. Moving on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Colonial conquest. Yes. Okay, Benin. Next little guy. Okay, you guys right here. So, security. Let's go in. Do, 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 do. These guys are marks. Okay. Let's just seize this down. Seize this down. And. And it's gonna go pretty quickly, get it down, and you, I'm just gonna annex. 
because I don't really need to keep you guys. There we go. And let's get this all converted. And I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the Adventures of Morocco. Whoa.